It's getting cold out here, Harry. Time to come in. Let me just stay out here a while, nurse. It's been so peaceful in the garden. Let me just wrap you up properly then. No need to fuss, nurse. I've been through worse. It's finished now. The war is over. Not for me, nurse. I'm never going to forget the horrors I saw. What are you doing, Jodie? Just looking at this video of your travels. What was this? Oh, that's the trip I took with Ellie searching for peace. That's a soldier from the First World War. And did you find peace? Yes, but not where we expected to. We ended up in Bethlehem at the time of the birth of Jesus. We found peace in the form of a little baby lying in a manger. Cool. Could we go there? Can we go now? I'm afraid not. It's not wise or safe to time travel during the pandemic. I suppose not, but I do wish I could see that. I can't take you there, but perhaps with the help of my new Zoom camera, we can talk to the people who were there. I haven't perfected the device yet, but we can give it a go. Now, if I press this button, it should take us to the shepherd we met on our journey two years ago. He was the one who led us to the manger. Sorry to disturb you. You're seeing us as holograms. But you're not the person we expected to see. At least not dressed like that. I thought I was linking up with a shepherd I met two years ago. You're not a shepherd, are you? If you don't mind, what can you tell us about yourself? Well, my name's Bill. And no, I'm not a shepherd. I empty bins. A humble job, but an essential one. A bit like the shepherds in the Christmas story. I remember playing a shepherd in the school nativity play. Tea towels and ties round our heads and all that. I'm a bit of a homespun for Sosta, I suppose. And you got me thinking. I guess those shepherds up in the hills that first Christmas night were the last people you'd expect to be given such an important message. It's a bit like as if me and the crew were emptying bins and we were suddenly visited by angels. Nobody really notices us, or they didn't until Covid. It was great to get that appreciation, with thank yous and rainbow pictures stuck to the bins. If there's one thing folk have learned through all this, it's to appreciate the ones who are doing the dirty jobs. The jobs folk would rather not think about but one that keeps society running smoothly. From what I remember, from what my nan used to tell me, we're the kind of people Jesus spoke to. Perhaps it's time for me to find out more about what he said. Bill! <laughs> well, I guess I get to, I better go now. Or rather, you better go before you scare the missus. Hope you find your shepherd. Merry Christmas! Well, that didn't turn out quite as I expected it to do so. Never mind, Doctor. You did say there might be some teething problems. But it did look remarkably like the shepherd we met. And it's true that their status in society is pretty similar. Our shepherd was just an ordinary guy, but he did have the most incredible experience. And what I witnessed two years ago had a very profound effect on me. And you know, I'm not easily impressed. 
perhaps we should have another go. Who else would have been there at that time? Well, obviously the Magi, those we also know as the Three Kings or Wise Men. We didn't see them, but we know from the Bible stories that they were travellers like us, who came from afar to visit the one they described as the new king. Why don't you set the controls and see where that leads us? Okay. Don't be alarmed. Looks as though we might have got it right this time. My companion and I have travelled through time to meet you. I take it that you are one of the wise men? Uh, well, I mean, um, wise women? Travelled through time? You look pretty contemporary to me, if a little lacking in substance. You are right. I am a wise woman. I'm the doctor here at the hospital. You're probably thinking that I don't look much like a doctor. No white coat, no PPE. But I assure you, I am. I'm just getting ready to take part in a recording of the nativity play for the children here in the hospital. It's not much fun being in hospital over Christmas. And it makes a change for us to get away from the pressures of the wards. I suppose I can identify with a Magi. I've travelled from afar, following my own particular star. These last few months it had seemed like a perilous journey, but as a Christian, I've always known that I don't travel alone. As Christmas approaches and I reread the wonderful Christmas story, I'm struck again at how God sent Jesus to save people like me, no matter where we come from and no matter who we are. I hope you will feel the same this Christmas, whoever you are. Ooh, gotta go. Curtain call. Um, let yourselves out. Let yourselves out. Looks like it's back to the drawing board. Don't be disheartened, Doctor. Is there anybody else we can try? Who else is in the Christmas story? Mary? Joseph? Don't think it would be appropriate to try to contact them. We have to consider the space-time continuum. Oh yes, I remember. However, since you had no luck contacting anyone else who was there at the time of the nativity, could we see who might appear if we tried to contact an angel? Now, that's an outside shot. I'm guessing no angels. Go on. I'll give it a try, but I think this is all getting a bit silly. Sorry to surprise you like this. Forgive our strange appearance. I do apologise. My friend and I have been trying to contact, make contact with anyone who might have been able to tell us more about the Christmas story. I take it that you're not an angel. Who are you? Well, I have been called an angel before, and my name is Angela. But you're the ones that seem to have been parachuted in from heaven. Talking of which... Dealing with COVID has made me reassess my life. Uh, I wouldn't exactly say that my whole life flashed before me, but I remember the day when I saw an advertisement for nurses on the side of a bus when I was 19. Looking back, I can see that was God calling me. Although I didn't think so at the time. Throughout my training as a young 19 year old, I continued going to church, although none of the other nurses seemed to do so. 
my nursing career, my Christian beliefs did not happen every day as I thought they would. The line of light continuum. The final balance between life and death. That made a difference. The feeling of helping others. Giving support. Understanding. Sharing. Laughing. Crying. Comforting. Listening. Touching. But my biggest word is respect. Of course, my faith is very important to me and I think it makes a difference to how I cope during these dark times. Being there for patients when they can't see their loved ones. Bringing not just medical care but loving care. Just as Jesus taught us. What occurred to me is that as nurses, we work as a team. And when one of us can't be there, another one can. But with God, well, he's there all the time, whenever we need him. We need never be alone. And when I sing the carols, often to myself as I approach a patient's bed, or a scripture comes into my head, I think of the birth of our Saviour and the songs of the angels, peace on earth and goodwill to all. And then I have hope. Time for you to go now. I've got work to do. Thank you for listening to me. Hello, Doctor. I don't suppose you expected to see me, your old enemy, the mistress. I've been watching your house calls with some amusement. You really should be more careful with your Zoom codes, Doctor. It's been so funny seeing you spend time on fruitless journeys. So, you expected to see a shepherd, a wise man, an angel, did you? I could have told you you'd be wasting your time. What relevance do these characters have in today's world? It happened over 2,000 years ago and all people are interested in today is having a good time at receiving presents. Mind you, Covid has put pain to most of that. <laughs> Not much of the Christmas spirit around this year. I can't imagine you've learned much from a refuse collector, a doctor in a fancy costume, and a nurse. Next time, doctor, set your sights on something a bit more worthwhile. Be seeing you. <laughs>
Surely she journeyed from a distance to be in the right place at the right time. And the nurse was also called to a profession where she could serve people and demonstrate her faith in action. I'm sure many of her patients would see her as an angel of mercy. Her faith is central to everything she does. It can't have been easy for her the past few months. But what she said to us was inspiring. The mistress told us that there wouldn't be much of the Christmas spirit around this year. But I think, judging by what we've heard today, there will be more than enough. Perhaps more than ever since the first Christmas. Do you know, I'm glad, I'm glad now that we couldn't make this visit because I've learned that we don't have to travel back in time to visit an event which took place in the past because it can happen right now in our hearts if we only believe. Careful what you say, Jodie. You'll be putting this old time machine on the scrap heap. But I know exactly what you mean. As Tiny Tim said to me, or someone like me on a previous journey, God bless us, everyone. May the spirit of Christmas reign in every heart in this worst and best of years. Loving Father, you sent your son to be born in a humble stable. He called out to outcasts and sinners. Simple shepherds were the first to celebrate his birth. Foreigners and aliens were summoned from afar to bring their gifts to him and to worship the newborn king. At the temple, old people, a woman and a man waited for his coming and recognised the little babe of apparently humble parentage to be the long-awaited Messiah. As we approach the celebrations of his birth in these strange and uncertain times, let us give thanks for those people who serve our communities and in whom we can recognise something of his spirit, loving, giving and self-sacrificial. And when we return to more usual times, let us never forget those who hold so-called unskilled jobs, the carers, refuse collectors and shop workers. Let us remember the nurses and doctors, many from abroad, who have kept our hospitals running during these dangerous times. And let us not forget the lonely and vulnerable, whose lives have been frightening and bewildering during these confusing times. We also remember the poor and those who find themselves out of work, for whom finding the basic necessities of life is a constant struggle. Let us as Christians do what we can to make the true spirit of Christmas be known throughout the land, in our lives, in our gifts, and through our prayers. In the name of our beloved Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.